the city of Miriani to find out that um, even in the woodland paradise there is chaos. Um, the 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 iron protector to be has um, has been being trained to become the the future iron protector against her will, and the iron protector trying to do the best that he can for his future daughter, or well, his daughter and future Iron Protector, um, is blind to that fact. And for your all's po political prowess, you have gone about through a, a stupidly long RP session to, to set up the, the necessary ties to propagate her future freedom. Um, after making me roleplay four characters in a row, <laughs> conversating each other with each other, the ultimate decision through a number of your roles was that the, the Iron Protector was indeed going to let um, his daughter become the, the future um, Iron Protector while letting her for the next about decade explore the outside world. Um, However, understanding that, that you were, were merely a tool in the, in the kegs and, and, and cogs of this understanding and, and, and future propagating of, of freedom for his daughter, ch um, not challenged, but, but tasked you all with being the protectors through escort to bring her to the edge of the Ironwood for her to begin her... I want something better than Journey, Aramente, um, with the outside world. So, um, with that being said, you were able to succeed. You, you had gained the favor of both the ambassador and the advisor, the Iron Protector, and the future Iron Protector of the Wood for this decision. Um, previously, you had been attacked by a political party and a, a group of assassins that only attack political targets. Um, one of your, your party, um, the assassin of your group, had went underground immediately after seeking revenge against her, her future um, opponents to find answers and possibly retribution for the attack upon your party. Um, in the meantime... Um, what do you guys do? I attack the... No, um... <laughs> hey, attack the darkness. I'm apparently getting one up to wordplay, so... Uh, <laughs> uh where are we? Are we still in the throne room? Like, where are we at? So you just got dismissed from the throne, throne room. So basically, um... He, he dismisses you all. He waves your hand, his hand and, and, and kicks you out. Um, the, the Basically, the, the triumphant, the people that stood against him with you are still with their backs against you. And, and he kind of, like, like, he points, like, over a little bit and he goes like this, like, I need to discuss these matters with my advisors and my daughter. Be gone! Owners. Please prepare yourselves for the future escort of this this um, valued member of our society for your escort to the edge. So we believe in the throne room then. Okay. Yes. 100%. Okay. That's all. We've mostly just been chilling, haven't we? Yeah. We could, uh, well, never mind. I guess, um, Valium is AFK taking care of that. I was gonna say we could try and figure out who tried to kill us, but that's kind of being resolved. Um, that's what Valium's kind of trying yeah. to do and deal with as far as that goes. Just to try to play smooth with all that good goodness. Let's go to a nightclub. <laughs> Sounds good! A nightclub in a city that never sleeps. Yeah. Wait. So let's find uh, Studio 54. Huh? I mean, that was in New York, well. right? Wasn't Wasn't Studio 54 in New York? Oh, I have no idea. 
mix that up. Huh? I have no idea. Am I the only one that's ever heard of Studio 54, the famous ass nightclub from like a long time ago? I mean, yeah. I've, heard, I've of heard of it, but I don't know where it's at. Yeah, it was in Man. It was in Manhattan. Yeah, New York's a city that never sleeps, so we're in the city that never sleeps. Let's go to Studio 54. Get shit faced. Okay. Use some of that 80s coke. I'm just like, Ooh. sounds good. Uh, <laughs> kind of out of nowhere, but sure. <laughs> Wait, hey, if nobody has any better ideas, I win by default. <laughs> successful job done. I'm trying to come up with something better. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Think quick. <laughs> We're going to spend two hours getting trashed. Well, you will. Riley probably will not. <laughs> Oh, you know what? Why don't we see if there's like a fighting arena? We can make some money. We gotta make money. We're all broke. I am down. I'm always down for making money. I don't think we're broke. I'm pretty broke. I have 62 gold. I've got 600 gold, but I mean, in the long run, that's pretty broke. I can only buy so many magic items. That is like super <laughs> rich. How do you? You're aiming, you're aiming for expensive things. How do you? Yeah. So how do you I, I converted a lot of my silver and copper to gold because it's absurd to imagine myself carrying around like 13,000 copper pieces yes yeah, so did I'm assuming there's a bank in Miriani I haven't spent anything the most expensive thing I bought was like uh like I gave like 10 gold to Thorgill for uh, the brewery oh and I bought a horse for like 50 bucks and that was your character now it's your life. Hmm. You're right, so the only thing Beavis has bought was a horse for like 50 bucks. Remind me not to give him a health potion then. Um. <laughs> I, have, I think, I, yeah, I have a health potion. I have a potion of greater healing. <laughs> anyway, some of us go to this, the club and some of us I am, go do other things. I am down for finding something to make me more money. Yeah, I want to go make money. Wait, how much downtime do we have? Not a lot, I probably. Because we're waiting uh, for, because we're waiting for that deliberation to happen. I'm assuming, or whatever the the well, discussion. I mean, he tasked you, which which really it's open for interpretation, but probably it's within the next like day. So you probably have like 24 hours to have this before the the journey happens, so to speak. So we can't start a merchant empire. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Maybe Can I find stand. a Let's good plot? Stand. Can I find a good plot to open a bar in the future? <laughs> <laughs> plot of Plato Tree. Um, Plato Tree. Yeah. How much does real estate cost within the city? <laughs> Probably a stupid amount. Probably. Is that like a horse track or something? Cool. Like, how do you quickly make money in Mariani? So, how do you gamble? Is what I'm hearing. I mean, not necessarily gamble, but yeah. Like, is there a fighting arena? Is there um, so I'd actually, I'd, I'll ask, I'll ask Ricochet, what do you think is a way that the elves find entertainment through useless abandonment of their, pro their, their hard-earned profits within There's the elven city? a fighting ring and you get 200 gold for every wolf you kill. <laughs> um, I highly doubt it's that. They're all like super nature. He said it's up to you. Um, maybe like the underground elves that are like totally down with the human stuff of greed and natural destruction. But I would think more that uh, they. I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of in a situation where I, my character personally wouldn't know because she hasn't been around it a ton. Yeah, but I mean, like, like other than they're like, cousins of yours. What do you think that maybe the more savage side of Elvendry is? I don't know. And other do people can other people can give Kiro ideas. Like, growing sweet plants remember, and doing uh, drugs mm. or something. I don't know. I think it's one of the original Elder Scrolls. There was like a hunters group where they would uh, send you off like to hunt. Or, I mean, no, it was Far Cry 3. I'm totally, totally not even close to Elder Scrolls. You would, um, 
like accept the challenge, like hunt this animal with only this certain kind of weapon. Maybe if the wood elves are such consummate like outdoorsmen and hunters, they have some sort of uh, like hunter's lodge where if you bring back this creature, there's a reward or something instead of like a fighting I, arena. I feel like they wouldn't really do that though, because they would be more, they're more like vegetarians. Because they're like, oh, I did about not. The nature. That is totally not. That's what I thought. Of. <laughs> no, they do meat. They do meat. Yeah. I was thinking okay. of more like savage. Sure, there's that, right? and probably some sort of gardening thing, and... Oh, I'm down for know. gardening competition. Gardening competition, lots of oh. farmers. Perfect. Head on and everything. Uh, fishing and things, and... I, I really have no idea off the top of my head. Hmm. Uh, Zach's got gunpowder. We can go fishing. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh, that's the best gun. Beavis <laughs> would definitely know how to. Uh... I forgot about this that discussion. <laughs> <laughs> Once I, I, I figure out how to synthesize gunpowder, we're gonna use that for everything. <laughs> God dang it, man! <laughs> <laughs> so what do we got here? What do we got? I mean, I'm, really, it's just up to what John will let us get away with, because I'm going for some ridiculous bullshit. Because <laughs> I, I literally have no no ideas. I want to fight, or hunt, or garden. I like Hero's idea. I'm, I'm okay with gardening. <laughs> it's a very specific uh, I'm okay with hunting. Since I'm technically a hunter, so... I don't know, I just want something with a monetary reward. I'm a greedy bastard. I can get behind that. Uh, hunting, uh, hunting, versus, is there any sort of, like, hunting thing that we get, we can, we can go do then? Archery competition, Ooh. maybe? Oh yeah, there's totally gonna be, like, there wouldn't be, like, necessarily an archery competition, but there's, there's always a, a for honor competition between the hunters of Miriani that you could enter in a, a, a classic Robin Hood type thing, you know, to, to prove that you have the straightest aim on your mark. I will do that. Situation. And be like, look at me, I can ride a... a I don't know, a, what, what's the creature from... Princess Mononoke, the red deer, and ride across and shoot things, and <laughs> I don't know. Oh dear God! I don't know. Um, is it Nanya Colt? 